Hello and welcome to video 3 of our course on converting paper-based data to electronic data using AP data. My name is Wilfred Ngwa. In video 2, we looked at how to get the AP data software to our computers. We also looked at the exercise used in this course and how to obtain the course material. We concluded by looking at what a data dictionary is and how to create one. In this video, we will look at the AP Data Manager user interface, which will take us straight into beginning to create a data capture farm. I will advise you have all the course material handy and AP Data Manager installed to follow this video. You can always pause this video and execute a step before continuing. That said, let's get started. Usually, Data collection, entry, and analysis follow this order. 1. We have to design the paper-based form or questionnaire. 2. We have to create a codebook which should have a variable name, a corresponding text or question in the questionnaire, the variable type, the values allowed, and other special requirements such as the format, possible values, etc. 3. We have to create an electronic questionnaire or data entry form to convert data captured from the paper-based questionnaire into the electronic form for analysis. 4. We have to enter data into our created form. 5. We have to clean the data and make it ready for analysis. 6. We have to export our cleaned data for analysis. The last step in this process is the analysis of this exported data and presenting it in a form that is understandable. For points number one and two, we saw this in video two. AP Data Manager helps us to realize point number three, which is creating an electronic data entry form. To launch AP Data Manager, simply double click on the AP Data Manager icon on your desktop. The following interface is displayed. To create a new project, you can either go to File, the New Project, or you go to Select Project, the New Project, or you simply press the Ctrl and key on your desktop. Once you create a new project, you have the following AP Data Manager user interface displayed. On the top, we have the Work Toolbar. We will look at the components practically as we go. On the left, you have the project structure or project tree. At the center, we have the work canvas, which is where we are going to be creating our form. To begin, let's name our project. Notice these tabs to the left. The first tab is the welcome tab, which displays the information we currently have on the screen. The information displayed provides us with information on how to create a single data entry form relational data sets and other useful steps which we will see as we proceed. The next tab is the title and abstract tab. On the title, we put in the title of our project making use of our codebook. Under the abstract, we can write a short description of the project. The next tab is the coverage tab. For the geographical coverage, I will put in Cameroon. I will leave the other fields empty. You can browse through the other fields and fill in what is required. You can fill in the ownership, you can put in the name of your institution, you can put in the funding, if it is funded by an organization, and you can also put in the version. By default, AP Data puts in one for version one. If I click on data set, automatically AP Data takes us to the canvas for us to start creating our form. At this point, we need to save our project. To save our project, we go to File, Save Project As, and we give in the name we have in our codebook. So I'll just go ahead and change the date. The date of today is the 13th. And 
then I click Save. So if you see at the top, we now have the name of our database here. The next thing is to name a data set. By default, Epidata calls the data set, the first data set, data set one. In our form, we have the initiation and the follow-up form. So the first form is the initiation form. So to rename this to initiation form, I just have to double click here. And then I type in initiation form. Great. If I click outside, we now have initiation form. So at this point, we can start designing our form based on the questions we have in our code book.